Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kiran Vivare, Consultant Anesthesiologist and Pain Physician. Welcome to my channel on Anesthesia Safety and Surgery. First of all, sorry for this late video. But you all are aware that the world is dealing with a horrible pandemic right now. We all are facing difficult situation. And especially doctors are having horrifying experience. Many young doctors have lost their lives. My salute to all Corona warriors around the world. Today I will be discussing chronic pain management and how you should deal with it. So let's go and watch the video. Today I will be talking on chronic pain management. I will be telling you how to lead a pain free life, do's and don'ts. So let us know more about pain and why do we get it. Pain is a protective mechanism and every living being can protect himself from any harm because of the pain. Now you will wonder how. Let me give you an example. When you get a pin prick, your hand recoils and this is a safety mechanism. Pain is as old as mankind and it was considered as a punishment. And since people were not aware of the cause or mechanism of pain, Weird treatments were given. In ancient India, however, Ayurveda was used for treating pain. Many drugs like opium were also used to treat pain. In India, there was a great eminent surgeon named Sushruta who used to perform big surgeries like craniotomies and even reconstruction of the nose. And you will be surprised that his technique was followed by even the western countries and even they have a relevance today. He used a leaf to measure the skin required for nose reconstruction and then used to graft the skin. Now you will wonder, there was no anesthesia at that time. So what they used to do? Anesthesia was unique as the person was given a lot of wine to drink and made him unconscious. And then he was tied and then the surgery was performed. Pain perception and tolerance is different in different individuals. So same type of injury can cause different severity of pain in two different individuals. Let me give you an example. A person with a positive outlook towards life who performs regular exercise, yoga, meditation, sleeps 8 hours a day, has a well balanced diet, experiences less pain. This is because of the endogenous opioids or endorphins that are released after exercise reduce pain. So, there is a lot of importance to exercise, meditation and yoga. Now coming to different pain conditions. So, from head to toe, there are different pains in different individuals. I will be talking broadly on different types of headaches, facial pain, neck pains, back pain, leg pain, knee pain, pain in abdomen, fibromyalgia, osteoporosis and cancer pain. Now coming to different types of pain. Broadly, the pain is divided into two types, acute and chronic. The pain which is of less than 3 months duration is known as acute pain and the pain which is more than 3 months duration is known as chronic pain. Let me explain. Pain after surgery is considered to be normal because during surgery there is a lot of tissue handling and so there is pain. Once the tissue has healed, the pain disappears. So this pain can remain for 15 days after surgery or 1 month or even for 3 months maximum. So this is considered to be normal. But when the pain remains for more than 3 months duration, it is known as chronic pain. That means pain which remains after the tissue healing is known as chronic pain and it is considered to be an abnormal type of pain. And we as pain specialists are trained to manage this type of chronic pain. So this is known as chronic pain management. Headache. Every person during his lifetime experiences headache. It is a very common symptom. But you should know when you should consult a doctor. There are different types of headache. It can be migraine, 
or it could be stress headaches, anxiety headache or tension headaches. Many times there are some problems with the sinuses, either sinusitis, inflammation or infection of the sinuses which causes headache. Migraine and some common types of headache have some triggers. That means after eating certain types of foods, the headache starts. So these triggers the person has to identify on his own. There are certain household remedies to banish your headache. But you should understand when to approach a doctor. If you have sudden severe persistent headache which is not relieved by any painkiller then you should consult a doctor. There are certain red flags that means if you have had this type of a headache for the first time many times there is excessive vomiting associated with headache or there is loss of consciousness all these are known as the red flags and you should definitely go to your doctor. What does a pain specialist do? We first take your detailed history. We try to find out certain triggers that might be causing your migraine. Then we advise you certain lifestyle modifications and exercises and also physiotherapy. And then we start you on medications. And if your CT or MRI is normal but still your headache is continuing, then we can give certain types of nerve block injections. They could be Botox injections for migraine or we can also give nerve blocks according to your area of pain. Now coming to trigeminal neuralgia. So what is this trigeminal neuralgia? It is a severe shooting stabbing type of a pain felt in the jaw. It is more common in the males and there are certain triggers. Simple activities like eating, chewing, shaving or simple touch can also trigger this type of a pain. And the patient becomes suicidal. So it is also known as suicide disease. The person goes for dental extraction. But the pain is not from the tooth. It is from the nerve. And so the pain doesn't get relieved. So there are treatments available. Initially we start you on medicines. And then if it is not relieved even by medicines. Then we go for some blocks. Which are known as the trigeminal nerve blocks. Now coming to neck pain. The importance of proper posture cannot be overemphasized. Today's young generation is facing a lot of neck pain problems because of excessive use of mobiles, laptops and sedentary lifestyle and table work. So we first advise you certain modifications and certain exercises. But you should know when to consult a doctor or a pain specialist. If your neck pain is associated with hand pain, if there is tingling in your hands, loss of grip, weakness or numbness or if you have giddiness or vertigo along with your neck pain, then you should definitely consult your doctor. So initially again we advise you certain exercises, physiotherapies and medicines and if your MRI is normal and still you have your neck pain, then we can go for certain blocks or nerve blocks that can be given. Back pain is a very common problem. Low back pain occurs in about 60% of the people sometime during their lifespan. There are different causes of back pain. In the younger generation, it could be because of disc prolapse, trauma, fracture, infection. And in the elderly, it is most probably because of arthritis. Most common cause of back pain can be sudden disc prolapse in the younger generation. And it commonly occurs when there is a sudden improper lifting of weights in the gym. Now you should understand when to approach your doctor. If you have back pain along with leg pain, if there is a shooting pain down your leg, if there is tingling, numbness or weakness in your legs, inability to stand, if there is a bladder or bowel insufficiency and loss of control, then these are considered as the red flags and you should always go to your doctor. Now what does a pain specialist do? We first of all assess your back pain and then advise you exercise, physiotherapy, medications and if there is uh, no major problem in the MRI or CT then we advise you certain types of nerve blocks. We can use ozone therapies 
and manage your back pain what is fibromyalgia it is a type of widespread pain which occurs in women there is fatigue headache muscle ache stiffness memory loss digestive problems thyroid problems women feel tired and depressed but nothing to worry it can be managed with proper exercise and a well balanced diet which is rich in fruits and green vegetables knee pain is a major cause of disability among the elderly the most common cause can be osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis and in the younger population it can be injury to the ligaments that causes knee pain depending upon the stage of osteoarthritis knee pain can be managed usually stage 1 and 2 can be managed conservatively with exercise and medicines and also by joint injections of platelet rich plasma or by nerve blocks but usually stage 3 and 4 require surgery cancer pain management cancer is a very traumatic disease and it drains the patient and the family physically emotionally and financially the least we can do is to relieve the pain and make life bearable for the patient during his end stage we can give certain types of nerve blocks to relieve his pain in the end i would like to say that all types of pain can be managed but proper timing is important don't take over the counter medicines regular exercise medications and a well balanced diet can manage any type of pain and we as pain specialist can manage your pain so this was a brief overview about chronic pain management and what a pain specialist can do to help you relieve your pain hope you have liked the video if you have liked it press the bell icon or put a thumbs up thanks again